The U.S. Navy boasts 11 aircraft carriers in its military strength, each a formidable force on the open seas. But there is an interesting question. How do these colossal vessels survive the monstrous waves that nature throws their way? Picture the scene. An ominous expanse of open sea, relentless waves and extreme weather threatening not just the lives of hundreds of sailors, but also billions of dollars worth of aircraft. Join us as we uncover the challenges, engineering marvels, and advanced technologies that allow the U.S. Navy's largest aircraft carriers to navigate and endure the treacherous waters they call home. Challenges at Sea Navigating the vast open seas is no easy feat for the U.S. Navy's 11 aircraft carriers. These colossal vessels face a myriad of challenges thrusting them into a high-stakes dance with nature's unpredictable forces. Picture the contrast, the calm safety of harbors replaced by the tumultuous ocean's unpredictable temperament. High-speed winds exceeding 60 knots and waves towering up to a staggering 300 feet become relentless adversaries during storms and hurricanes. These colossal waves are tall enough to eat a ship alive, pose a threat not just to the structural integrity of the vessels, but to the safety of thousands of crew members and valuable aircraft on board. The instability induced by these enormous waves is a constant concern, with the risk of capsizing looming over naval operations. With approximately 50,000 U.S. Navy sailors deployed globally on around 100 ships on any given day, the responsibility of ensuring their safety in the face of nature's fury is immense. The challenges faced by the U.S. Navy extend beyond stability concerns. The tragic incident involving the SS El Faro in Hurricane Guacan serves as a poignant reminder of the unpredictable and perilous nature of maritime operations. Despite extensive search and rescue efforts, none of the 33 crew members were found alive, and the ship itself remained undiscovered. A sobering example of the formidable challenges posed by the open seas. In the face of such challenges, the U.S. Navy must navigate a delicate balance between fulfilling its missions and ensuring the safety of its crew and assets. Ship Design and Building Let's explore how these massive aircraft carriers and warships are built. Crafting an aircraft involves a detailed and tightly regulated process, blending engineering know-how, military standards, and innovative technologies. In the U.S. Navy, designing aircraft often falls into the capable hands of private shipyards. This collaboration taps into their specialized skills and infrastructure, dedicated to faithfully translating naval designs into reality. It's a strategic dance that highlights the intricate nature of naval construction. Creating the blueprint for the first vessel of a ship class is no quick task. It spans about a decade. This extended timeline reflects the meticulousness and precision required in naval design. Every detail from the ship's shape to its stability undergoes intense scrutiny adhering to strict naval and military construction standards. Once the design gets the green light, the actual construction kicks off in the shipyard. The phase turns those design blueprints into tangible structures. For example, crafting an Arleigh Burke class destroyer demands around four years of diligent work in the shipyard before the vessel is ready for action. Innovating with materials While naval construction sticks to tried and true principles, material innovation steps in to boost the prowess of modern warships. Despite new materials making appearances, especially in specific areas, the core structure like the hull leans heavily on the reliability of welded steel. Recent warship designs, like the USS Zumwalt class destroyer, shake things up with innovative materials. The superstructure in this class boasts composite materials, a departure from the traditional all-steel route. This shift brings enhancements in weight, performance, and potentially stealth characteristics. Despite these innovations, the foundational hull of warships remains loyal to welded steel. This choice highlights the enduring reliability, strength, and cost-effectiveness of naval steel in the challenging conditions faced by warships at sea. Engineering At the core of guaranteeing the safety and stability of U.S. Navy ships amidst the challenges of rough seas lies the intricate realm of naval engineering and design. At its core, the fundamental principle is buoyancy, the reason why ships float. The strategic placement of heavy machinery, equipment, and fuel on lower ship levels is essential to maintaining a lower center of gravity, 
akin to balancing a pencil on a fingertip. Consider this ship's hull, a critical factor in navigating rough seas. For stability, large U-shaped hulls resist drag, tilting, and rolling, while aircraft carriers employ V-shaped hulls to cut through significant waves. The precision involved in the placement of equipment and installation of new machinery contributes to the overall stability of these colossal vehicles. Beyond these foundational elements, ballast systems play a pivotal role in maintaining a ship's level. The crew can dynamically adjust the ship's center of gravity, controlling buoyancy and counteracting destabilizing forces in rough seas. These design considerations highlight the complexity and precision essential for constructing vessels capable of withstanding the formidable challenges presented by the open seas. Advanced Technologies Given our focus on the US Navy, it comes as no surprise that we encounter some truly advanced technologies as we delve into the heart of naval operations. Imagine fin stabilizers, referred to as the fighter jets of the sea. These adjustable wings counteract the constant rolling and pitching induced by turbulent seas, allowing Navy ships to maintain steady platforms for precision strikes and bombing runs. Another technological marvel comes in the form of gyroscopic stabilizers, akin to the tires of a bicycle. These high-speed, flywheel-driven systems generate angular momentum, constantly adjusting the ship's attitude in response to sea conditions. The integration of computerized systems enables real-time adjustments, ensuring stability across a wide range of scenarios. Then there is the futuristic prospect of self-riding vessels. Designed to automatically operate themselves after capsizing, these vessels bring a new dimension to maritime technology. With features like weighted keels and bottom ballast tanks, they offer a swift response to unexpected situations in heavy seas, ensuring quick recovery and the resumption of operations. These technologies are not just innovations, but strategic assets in the arsenal of the U.S. Navy. Maintenance and Inspection Now let's shift our focus to the critical domain of maintenance and inspection. The vigilant processes that ensure the continuous operational readiness of U.S. Navy ships. Think of it as the meticulous care these vessels undergo to remain steadfast in the face of the open seas challenges. Preventative maintenance takes center stage, embodying a proactive approach to stay ahead of potential issues. This plan system involves tasks like lubricating machinery, correcting fluid levels, conducting functional tests, visual inspections, and measuring vibrations. Picture it as a meticulous routine, keeping every nut and bolt in its right place. To preemptively address any issues that could evolve into safety hazards in the future, Conversely, corrective maintenance steps in when a ship faces failure, malfunction, or damage. Urgency becomes the key as the crew addresses equipment breakdowns at sea, mindful of the potential cost escalation and risks associated with emergency repairs. The financial implications are significant, considering the operational costs of these massive vessels. A critical aspect of maintenance involves dry docking, a comprehensive procedure performed every five years. This intricate process, though costly, is both a regulatory requirement and a strategic approach to ensuring the structural integrity of the vessel. Midway surveys conducted between dry docking periods involve thorough inspections and maintenance tasks focused on the underwater structure, contributing to the longevity and sustained operational capabilities of these warships. Weather Forecasting Weather can be unpredictable, especially when you're navigating the expansive seas, and due to that reason, weather forecasting plays a pivotal role in the U.S. Navy's strategic operations. Satellites, the silent guardians of the skies, become crucial tools in tracking weather conditions across the ocean. Orbiting the Earth's poles, specialized meteorological satellites collect data on clouds, air and water temperature, currents, dust storms and ice coverage. This wealth of information becomes the cornerstone for providing comprehensive insights into the atmospheric and oceanic conditions, influencing naval operations. Delving deeper, the U.S. Navy utilizes powerful environmental models such as the Joint Typhoon Warning Center models and WaveWatch 3. These models integrate data from satellites, buoys, weather stations, and various sources to create accurate representations of the environment. The synergy of these models enhances the Navy's ability to anticipate and navigate through various sea conditions, including rough seas and adverse weather. The ship's crew plays a crucial role in the daily processing of weather forecasts, 
armed with short-time forecasts and extended projections. The crew adapts plans based on real-time updates, ensuring the feasibility and safety of planned missions, particularly in regions prone to hurricanes like the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico. Crews actively engage with meteorological data to monitor and prepare for potential threats, underlining the significance of hurricane preparedness in naval operations. Crew Training and Safety Procedures Shifting our focus to the human element in naval operations, let's explore the indispensable role played by the dedicated crew members of the U.S. Navy. Before the cutting-edge technologies and advanced systems, the true soul of the Navy lies in its crew. Crew training is the cornerstone in guaranteeing the ship's stability in rough seas. Survival training drills become a vital part of their preparation. Picture the crew engaging in damage control, rapid and coordinated responses to situations that could lead to a capsizing or sinking of the vessel, swiftly identify and controlling leaks, operating pumps, and sealing compartments become second nature to these trained individuals. Evacuation drill procedures underline the importance of crew coordination during emergency situations. Whether it's efficiently evacuating or maintaining a vigilant watch, Continuous monitoring of weather forecasts and sea conditions becomes their responsibility. The crew's ability to make crucial decisions in a timely manner takes center stage, and their role is pivotal in determining the fate of the ship amidst challenging and unpredictable environments. And for that purpose, crew training is done, including the utilization of virtual reality simulations. These simulations offer a realistic experience of various sea conditions, including turbulent weather and deadly storms. The immersive nature of virtual reality training aims to develop effective decision-making skills and enhance crew coordination, essential elements for safe and efficient operations in challenging maritime environments. Hurricanes and U.S. Military Role The threat of hurricanes looms large over maritime operations, and the U.S. military steps up to monitor, research, and respond to these powerful storms. Number 1. Hurricane Characteristics Picture hurricanes as intense rotating storms born in warm waters, growing stronger over days. With categories ranging from 1 to 5 based on wind speeds, these storms pack a punch, with gusts starting at 74 nautical miles per hour for a Category 1 and soaring beyond 157 for a formidable Category 5. The Atlantic hurricane season, running from June to November, particularly impacts the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico. Number 2. U.S. Military Surveillance the U.S. military dives into monitoring meteorological parameters and studying extreme weather conditions. They collect data to improve weather forecasts and deepen their understanding of tropical storms and hurricanes. This involvement showcases the military's dedication to preparedness, aiming to minimize the impact of these natural disasters on military assets and civilian populations. Hurricane Hunters In the face of hurricanes, the U.S. Air Force Reserves boasts a unique unit. The 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron, aka Hurricane Hunters, stationed at Keesler Air Force Base in Biloxi, Mississippi. This squadron operates Lockheed Martin WC-130J Weatherbird aircraft dedicated to weather research and reconnaissance within hurricanes. Number 1. Unique Mission Approach Hurricane Hunters embark on daring missions, flying directly into the eye of hurricanes multiple times. Flying at altitudes from 500 to 10,000 feet, these missions provide crucial insights into the structure and dynamics of these storms. Number 2. GPS Drop Sonda Systems A key part of Hurricane Hunter missions is the use of GPS Drop Sonda Wind Finding Systems. These systems deploy cylindrical instruments equipped with radios and sensors. Released at intervals of 400 miles over water, these instruments descend with parachutes measuring temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, and wind data. The transmitted data enhances our understanding of the hurricane's characteristics. Number 3. Role in Weather Research Through their daring flights and data collection, the hurricane hunters significantly contribute to advancing weather research. Their unique perspective and advanced equipment improve forecast accuracy and provide real-time information crucial for both military and civilian preparedness. Modern Advances and Future Improvements The U.S. Navy stands among the world's most advanced naval forces, so let's explore the dynamic landscape of modern advances and future improvements shaping the Navy's path. 
Virtual reality training steals the spotlight, a technological leap that immerses crew members in realistic sea simulations. These experiences play a crucial role in honing decision-making skills, equipping the crew to navigate the open seas with efficiency amid their complexities. The prospect of integrating artificial intelligence or AI into stability systems offers a glimpse into the future of naval operations. Envision AI algorithms continuously analyzing sensor data, making real-time adjustments to stabilizers. This potential application holds the promise of split-second calculations to counteract adverse conditions, contributing to the prevention of potential capsizing scenarios. There is a possibility of a future where U.S. Navy vessels are equipped with self-learning systems, capable of anticipating and adapting to the dynamic and unpredictable nature of the open seas. Further into the future, we can look forward to the development of self-riding vehicles, a groundbreaking advancement in maritime technology. These vessels designed to automatically operate themselves after capsizing present a practical solution for swift recovery and resumption of operations in challenging sea conditions. With features like weighted keels and bottom ballast tanks, these vessels represent a transformative leap in the Navy's ability to navigate the open seas safely. The transformative potential of these technological advances becomes apparent, a paradigm shift in how the U.S. Navy approaches challenges at sea. The integration of AI coupled with the development of self-driving vessels suggests a future Navy equipped with adaptable and autonomous vessels, ushering in a new era of efficiency and safety on the vast expanse of the open seas. So in this video, we've navigated through the challenges, engineering marvels, and advanced technologies that allow the U.S. Navy's largest aircraft carriers to brave the monstrous waves. If you found this exploration fascinating, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more insights into the world of military marvels. Stay tuned, stay curious, and until next time.